Hi, my name is Roxy Brown, and I'd like to tell you my story. You know, as adults, we often think about impact. Um, it's something that comes along with a fully developed frontal lobe, I believe. Uh, and we think a lot about, am I making a difference? Am I doing something that is going to actually leave a mark, have an impact? Um, and I can tell you from personal experience that the need organization left a gigantic mark and impact on my life. They helped spearhead the career that I have now working in renewable energy. I am a, I am a need alumni success story. <laughs> so enjoy. Wow, what inspired me to get into renewable energy? That's a story. Um, I'll try to keep it quick. So when I was in fifth grade, we had a renewable energy guest speaker come to our class. They talked about biodiesel and solar and wind and all these renewable energies. And I remember just feeling so shocked by it. And I raised my hand and I asked very assertively why this was the first time I was hearing about any of this. <laughs> 10 years old, and I had never heard about an alternative to the stinky gas we put in our car. And the speaker said, I'm sorry that it took so long for you to hear about it. If you want to change that about the world, you're going to have to grow up and change that about the world. Boy, did he ever light a fire. So from then on, that was my focus. Kids were telling me they wanted to be doctors and nurses and firefighters in, you know, sixth grade and on and I wanted to be a renewable energy professional. <laughs> I had no idea what that meant for the record. In fact, I actually was pretty sure it would involve living in a tree and being very smelly and poor. That was what I thought I was assigning my life to, but it was worth it to me because renewable energy felt worth it. So then um, in high school, I led a campaign um, to switch our school buses to biodiesel. I didn't like driving behind those buses with the nasty smoke and it felt like unnecessary pollution and seemed right. The campaign was successful. The school board approved it unanimously. And uh, that project actually got me a trip to Washington, D.C. with NEED. 2007, I was on the NEED student staff for the first time. And uh, wow, what an experience. Just life changing getting to see Washington, D.C. for the first time in a big way, uh, all the monuments and the history, and getting to teach other students about renewable energy. And it was just, it was transformative. Um, and uh, that year, actually, they surprised me with the award of Student Leader of the Year for my efforts. And that that largely carried forward into my career. That, that one award and summer led to many more summers working on need staff, but also um, it led to me getting some speaking opportunities. And um, at one of those conferences that I attended to speak on behalf of need, I actually met my first employer out of college. So I went by their booth every day for three days in a row. And by the third day, I had worn them down and they gave me a job. <laughs> Persistence, kids. It pays off. That was my first job out of college. Um, started at the bottom, worked my way up. Um, worked for Solar World for five years, went and worked for the Solar Foundation here in DC, moved cross country, worked for the uh, Energy Futures Initiative, and now I am currently the East Coast Sales Manager for a solar panel manufacturer, um, another one, um, and I cover the entire country east of the Mississippi. So I've created a, an entire career in energy, and specifically for me in renewable energy, because that's my passion. Um, solar and all renewables are my passion. I believe that if we can create a world where we are using sustainable energy primarily, it'll be sustainable. <laughs> also, look back on my time with NEED as, you know, uh, gosh, you know, ed educational from so many levels. Helped me hone my interpersonal skills, helped me become a little more mature working on the NEED staff. Um, and it definitely helped me solidify my desire to be a renewable energy professional. In fact, I actually, um, I tell this story a lot. When I met the executive director of the NEED group, Mary Spruill, she was my first example of someone who had a career working in energy 
who was not a smelly hippie. <laughs> and so Mary is who inspired me that I could have the job and life that I wanted in renewable energy and not have to live in a tree. <laughs> so thank you again, Mary. <laughs> you know this story. So anyways, um, yeah, what can I say? Need changed my life. <laughs> changed my life. And, uh, and if you would like a career in renewable energy or energy in general, I can tell you what, you can do anything in this field. Anything. You can be an engineer. You can be a scientist. You can design robots. You can do marketing. You can do web design. You can, there are so many different avenues you can go down and work in the, either the solar industry or any of the different energy industries. It's just an incredible place. And the best part I say is that when I get home at the end of my long days, I feel like I did a good thing. So it's very rewarding. Anyways, I am so happy to be part of the Need family. I'm very proud to be a Need alum, and uh, I hope you liked my story. Thanks.